this is where it gets fun. I'm trying to teach them here on day two to learn from the uh, learn from the feeder. I hold it up so they can see there's food in there. Day one, uh, I only had so much time because um, I'm working from home and I uh, have a day job. And so I wanted to make sure that I got food in them, number one, and I wanted to decrease the stress on, uh, on day one. That was really my really big goal. Let's get food in them, decrease their stress. Day two, uh, again, I'm working from home and uh, getting um, out here a couple times during the day over the lunch hour before work. Um, now this is towards the end of the day. Trying to make sure that they um, are learning about the feeder here in the flap. I'll slowly uh, lower it on them as they get more and more adventurous with, uh, with the flap movement and, and helping them see it's no big deal. They just lift it up. And hearing the sound, when the flap falls, they often will jump a little bit, and that's fine. Um, you can see that they're learning really quickly. You know, we're at, I don't know, three minutes or so <laughs> of doing this, and um, they're figuring out, oh, hey, you know, I can still eat while well underneath this flap. And obviously, once, once one learns, the other ones pick up really quick. So they're still uh, afraid of me, which is fine. It's normal. It's day two. Um, but uh, once they start getting used to eating underneath the flap, and i uh, got to get them actually lifting up the flap. Um, so that's kind of something that I want to get them used to is, hey, here it is. You can use your nose to lift up, just like that one. And they're hungry, they're smart. Once they see one do it, um, then the others will do it as well. Um, so just a, a simple little uh, training here, and again, uh, you know, different farmers might have different uh, techniques of leave it open and get them used to it, or uh, let them get hungry and figure it out on their own. Um, this is what I do. Um, again, trying to help them get food in them, making sure that's all set. Day two, getting them used to the flap, and um, by uh, by day three, at the at probably the latest, they're they're easily on their way. Um, so doing real fine. You know, again, they're they're not far from me. They're still kind of in that defensive posture of pointing the various directions and, and being careful as they come around here. But they're getting comfortable. They're getting used to it. I'll reach their hand out, making sure that I don't put my hand <laughs> under their nose because then they will bite it. Um, but rather um, have it above for them to lift their nose up into. Um, they explore the world with their mouths, and I really don't want to get bitten. So. They often will start with a, a gentle, uh, tender bite, um, but I'm not really interested in tender pig bites. So um, once they're, here we go, my hand is completely off of that flap. Try to not move much. We're making progress. Once we see them actually lift up a flap on their own, then we'll really be good. But there we go, a little bit of playfulness fighting at each other, trying to get into the one open one. We'll keep this going for a bit, I think you got the idea.